And video is starting. Flathead catfish. It looks like a big it's, they can get way it's, than that. Yeah, they can. They can't. They can get oh over twice as big as this one is. Oh but this is this is a, what we call it, the apex predator in this in this lake. It, once they get this big, nothing can hurt them except for people, and they can eat pretty much anything they want. How, how no, and any of the other fish in in the lake. How heavy is that? We're, we don't have a scale, but we're guessing it's about 40 pounds. Beast. It's not 40. Um, that, Skylar's question was, is this too big to eat? It's not, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend anybody eating a fish this big for a couple of di or several different reasons. Can anybody guess why? Oh, there's so many. How about Brooke? I can't hear you. Too much leftovers. No, that, that would, there would be a lot of leftovers. Because um, yeah. bigger fish eat the most other kinds of fish. That's a good reason. Yeah, to take take a big predator like this out of a, a water body, it it can get the ecosystem out of balance, and and you have too many of the smaller fish that that these eat. That's a good reason. There's a few more reasons, Skylar. Because of the mercury. Because of contaminants, that, that's a selfish reason to not eat big fish like this. Because this fish is probably, I don't know, how old do you think? Maybe 20, 20 to 30 years old, probably. And, and it ha it's, so it's had 20 to 30 years to, to build up contaminants in its muscle, like mercury or other, other toxic things that build up in fish. And you don't want to eat that kind of stuff because it can damage your brain and other things. There's another reason. They're probably rare, rare to find. They are fairly rare. Yeah, that's true. And then, and then one reason that not as, not in this lake, but in in the rivers around here. Has anybody ever heard of of hogging or noodling? Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's where that's where people go into rivers. I'm gonna actually let this go. Everybody's singing it off of it. Tell them goodbye. Bye. 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 So if if you don't know what that is, hogging or uh, noodling is where people go in. They they get in the water and they reach down underneath crevices and in logs, hollow logs and in holes in the bank and things like that. And they find these big catfish like, like that. And they, they pull them out of there and then they take them and they eat them. And the problem with that is whenever there's a big catfish in a crevice like that, almost always the reason they're in there is that's a, that's a male catfish and he's protecting a huge mass of eggs either eggs or baby catfish. He, per, he, per, he builds a nest, the, the fish spawn in that nest, and then that male guards those catfish until they're big enough to take care of themselves better. All right? As soon as you, some redneck pulls, pulls <laughs> a big catfish out of that hole, those babies or those eggs don't have protection anymore. And those sunfish, like those bluegill and the long ear, and the red ear sunfish swarm in there and eat every single one of the eggs. So no, they don't have any babies for that year. So that, that's really bad for the populations of, of catfish in our water bodies. 